If you're looking for the best bluefish lures, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Diamond Jig Bluefish Lure. The silver diamond jig comes in weights from 2 ounces to 6 ounces. The tube skirts of the jigs come in red, green or white, and a single hook. The red skirt works best when fishing in shallow water less than 20 feet deep. Tube skirted lures are commonly used when bluefish are feeding on sand deals. If you are not sure what depth the bluefish are at, a diamond jig is a good option. These are fished by casting a short distance out and letting the jig sink all the way to the bottom and then retrieving the lure quickly, reeling it in part way, and then dropping it back to the bottom multiple times during the retrieve works well if the boat is drifting and the fish are close to the bottom. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Acme Castmaster with Bucktail Bluefish Lure. The Castmaster Spoon with the Bucktail weighs 2 ounces. When fishing in shallow water or when there is surface action, a Castmaster Spoon is a great choice. These can be reeled slow to get deeper in the water column or fast near the surface. These can also work well when trolled. A plug like a bomber would work well when there is surface action. However, the weight of a Castmaster makes it so the lure can be cast further than most plugs. Bluefish teeth can really scratch up expensive plugs, though that is another reason why spoons are a good option when targeting bluefish. Castmaster spoon with tube tails works great for casting from the surf, casting from a boat, or trolling from a boat. This makes it a top lure for bluefish in any situation. Having a quality surf fishing reel allows heavy lures to be cast a far distance when surf fishing. The number three position is held by Deadly Dick Striped Base Spoon. The Deadly Dick is a, is a long slender spoon that is very popular to use for bluefish. It comes in sizes of 2 1 slash 2 inch, 6 ounce, 3 3 slash 8 inch, 1.2 ounces, 3 7 slash 8 1.6 ounces, 4 1 slash 4 inch, 2 ounces, 4 inch, 4 ounces, and 5 inch, 5 ounces. Color options are red, blue, silver, and green, all of which have a silver body. It is heavy enough to be fished like a diamond jig and light enough to be cast and retrieved like a lure. The lure is rigged with a swivel and single treble hook. Next at number 4 we have Tsunami Zig Jig Pro Bluefish Lure. This Tsunami Zig Jig Pro is 3 inches long and weighs 7-8 ounce. It comes rigged with two Mustad treble hooks. Color options are red silver and red gold. The metal body is durable and can hold up to the sharp teeth of bluefish. Since the lure is very heavy for its size, it can slowly sink deep in the water. It can also be trolled or cast and retrieved at high speeds. The lure swims with side-to-side -side motion that creating both vibrations and darting action. Just in case you do not believe me about bluefish teeth here are two jaws that we preserved. Notice the teeth are connected into the jaw bone, unlike shark teeth which are completely in cartilage. These jaws are from two older bluefish and were actually missing about 25% of their teeth mostly in the lower jaws, which I found interesting. The number 5 position is held by snagging rigs for bluefish fishing. One fun way to catch big bluefish is to snag a bunker with a snagging rig and then having the bluefish come and eat the injured fish. This works for striped base as well. The bait ball of bunker needs to show signs that predator fish are around for it to work well though. If the bunker are splashing out of the water they are likely being chased by predator fish. Once a bunker has been snagged, the bale of the reel needs to be open so the bunker sinks below the school to where the predator fish are lurking. This is a fun way to fish with this method but is actually quite difficult in practice because the snagged bunker can swim or drift too far away from the school of bunker. If the snagged bunker does not catch a fish after about 30 seconds, reel it up and try again. The snagged bunker can also be cut up and use as cut bait. The number 6 position is dominated by Storm Swim Shad Bluefish Jig. The Swim Shad is a go-to for stripers and bluefish. Bluefish teeth can tear into the rubber and frequently bite of the tails of Swim Shad. Otherwise, it would probably be ranked higher on this list. It can be reeled in quickly near the top of the water or jigged on the bottom which makes this a very versatile lure. Peel White and Shad and God Color Patterns for Bluefish. These come in sizes 3, 3 inch, 25 ounce, 4, 4 inch, 4,375 ounce, 5, 5 inch, 625 ounce, and 6, 6 inch, 875 ounce. 
Use Storm Shad size that corresponds to the size of bait in the area. In general, for bluefish, less than 2 pounds a 3 inch is a good size, and for bluefish over 2 pounds, a 6 inch swim shad is a good choice. These are very similar to the Tsunami Swim, shad jigs which are heavier and also work great. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Spro Bucktail Stripe Base Jig. The Spro Bucktail can be fished very similarly to a swim jig but the advantage is bluefish teeth are less likely to damage the lure. It comes in sizes of 1 slash 4 ounce, 1 slash 2 ounce, 3 slash 4 ounce, 1 ounce, 2 ounce, 3 ounce, 4 ounce, and 5.5 ounce. Good color options for bluefish are sand, eel green, white, chartreuse, and red white. A scented curly tail can be added, but might get damage from bluefish teeth. Bucktails are also commonly used to catch striped bass and fluke. The video below is of surf fishing and shore fishing for bluefish in New Jersey. The anglers were using bucktail jigs with large gulp curly tails. When fishing from the shore, it is good to use surf fishing reels. The number 8 position is held by Berkeley Power Bait Power Minnow Scented Jig. The Berkeley Power Bait Power Minnow is a small scented jig that looks like a minnow. It comes in a 2 inch 1 slash 32 ounce size and a 3 inch 1 slash 8 ounce size. The 2 inch version comes with 2 jig heads and 10 bodies, while the 3 inch version comes with 2 jig heads and 8 bodies. A good bait for small snapper blues is small minnows. This jig looks very similar to live minnows. It is a great bait to use around lights at nighttime. Catching small snapper bluefish is mostly for fun, but they can be kept to eat or used as bait. Next at number 9, we have 4 Arm Umbrella Rig for Bluefish. When fishing for striped bass with umbrella rigs a major concern is bluefish tearing up the rig. Umbrella rigs are expensive and bluefish can damage the swim shads very quickly. They can bite off the tails, cut into the swim shad, and cut off the monofilament lines. That being said, they do catch lots of bluefish. This four-arm umbrella rig has four swim shad without hooks and one with hooks. I would recommend bringing extra swim, shad hooks, and swivels. The Nanir's umbrella rig is an advantage because every swim shad has hooks. There's no guarantee the fish is going to bite the trailing shad. The larger rig also allows more than one fish to be caught at a time. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Bomber Lore's Long Shot Slender Minnow Bait Saltwater Fishing Lure. The Silver Mullet Long Shot Bomber comes in 5-inch, 6-inch, and 7-inch sizes. I would recommend the 5-inch for bluefish, as there are often smaller bluefish around that are still fun to catch. The 5-inch size is 3 slash 4 ounce, and the 6-inch is 13 slash 16 ounce. If you are casting far in the surf, the 7-inch would be a good option as it weighs 1 3 slash 4 ounces which will cast the furthest. A bomber is perfect when bluefish are in shallow water or near the surface. If you see bait breaking near their surface, this is a great lure to use. Sometimes the bluefish are feeding on mackerel, bunker, or sand eels. This lure is a decent match for all of these types of bait. Big bluefish can cut this lure up with their teeth, but it should still work after that. If there are stripers around, this is also great lure. It works well from a boat or when surf fishing for bluefish. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.